Yeah, it hurts my falls quick, yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, so these guys are the Scottish Black Bay sheep, and they are um, obviously bred out in Scotland. And um, these guys here are—they produce a wool that we would use for carpets, and not really sweaters and such like that. Uh, <laughs> you could use them for sweaters, but it would probably be a good rugged outdoor sweater. <laughs> um, these guys here have. Uh, a very good mothering sense. They, if a predator were to come out, they would really stand up to the predator. So it's very interesting um, how they would not let their babies. And um, they are also produced for meat and um, pretty much just wool. They are good girls. We have, well, now we have 12 of them, and there are two boys. Uh, we have our ram that is Robin, and he's out at the pasture. He's a year old. And then these uh, 10 girls that we have. So we had the four babies this year and just the one is a ram lamb. And you can see the difference, um, how you can tell like right out of the womb, he's got those two little horn spots where she just would have little nubbins under the skin there. What are you girls doing? We are actually um, teaching these guys through uh, methods of positive reinforcement to um, you know, follow us and herd around the park and stuff like that. So as soon as the babies are old enough and can keep up with the flock, they will join the um, four-pack flock outside that we are taking through Ireland. So that's something that we're doing for a little bit of interactiveness with the guests this year, is flocking the sheep. doing this year with the sheep. They're going to be out in the pasture. Um, we're going to herd them in the park. Oh, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Sorry, I was <laughs> That's all right. I was, I was like, we're trying to... take Dakota out while you guys take them over the bridge and it'll just be turn around and come back so we can get video of it. Oh, roll over. She was like, no, falls a man. 
We have a problem here. There's an obsession issue. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not gonna work. Huh? So that that'll do command really means when they're out in the um, fields hurting the sheep, you say that'll do. They're supposed to stop exactly what they're doing and return to your side. It's a very hard command because they love to work and you have to pull them off of it. So you really don't want to introduce them to sheep until they know that down pat so that you don't know that they're going to leave the sheep alone. They won't actually start the sheep herding training until they're about seven or eight months uh, old so they can get out in front of the sheep. And they have mm -hmm. to be able to get away, especially these ewes here will stand up to them and defend themselves. What are you doing? Are you a pretty girl? What? What are you doing? their confidence. They can have a stare at the sheep, and if the sheep really stand up to them, they can stare harder with their eyes, and it'll scare the sheep, you know, without having to touch them or make any physical contact. It will let the sheep know you're doing wrong, and turn around and see what you're Our little flock of sheep. Come here. What are you doing? 